for a moment. Imagine a life where all you experience are all round blessings from God, and you constantly live under open heavens where you do not have to struggle for anything. As a believer, would you believe me if I told you that living that kind of life is possible and that you can experience and enjoy all round blessings by simply speaking blessings upon your life? The book of Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. It is true that we all possess the power to change our lives, and that power lies in our tongues. This scripture affirms that the tongue is a very powerful weapon, and it carries the power to either positively or negatively impact and change your life. Not only are our tongues powerful weapons that can impact our lives, but the words we speak are also very powerful. Even our Heavenly Father proved that words are powerful when He created the world with His words. As a believer, know that you have the power to speak blessings upon your life, and those blessings will manifest. Whatever you desire to see in your life, all you have to do is affirm the blessings of God and speak blessings to that area of your life. Then watch as your life will transform. Today, we will explore the profound impact of speaking blessings upon yourself to change your life. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a reverent and inspiring prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. The Book of Mark Chapter 11, verse 23 says, For assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, Be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. This scripture is a testament that you can speak a word, and it will come to pass in your life. Whether you are commanding a mountain to be moved or you are speaking blessings upon your life, the scripture has made us understand that words are powerful, but they are only more powerful if you believe in them. While many Christians complain that they speak blessings upon their lives, but they do not come to pass, it could be that they do not believe in the words they speak. As a believer, Speaking the word is one thing, but believing in your heart that the words you have spoken will come to pass is another. As a believer, you should know that by speaking blessings upon your life or affirming God's words upon any area of your life, you can shape your reality in several ways while positively impacting your life. Yes, this is true. With the power of words, you can shape your destiny and transform different areas of your life beyond your imagination. Remember when we mentioned that the tongue is powerful? Not only does the Bible acknowledge this, but even the patriarchs of old showed us that abundant power lies in our tongue. You see, the tongue and the words we speak walk hand in hand, and one cannot do without the other. One of the popular scriptures where Jesus used the power of the tongue and words was when he commanded Lazarus to come back to life. There are also many instances where Jesus performed mind-blowing miracles by simply speaking. As the disciples of Jesus, this is to tell us that we can also speak positive words upon our lives, and they will also manifest come to pass. You don't have to raise the dead like Jesus did, but you can look around your life and speak blessings to the areas that are not doing well. My dear brothers and sisters, when it comes to the blessings of God, you can have as much as you want. But first, you must play a role in speaking these blessings upon your life. 
the same thing also applies to other things. You should know that we do not only have the power to speak blessings into our lives. We possess the power to also speak all kinds of positive things into our lives and change our reality. Are you in need of a miracle? Speak that miracle into existence. Do you need help urgently? Speak the help into existence. You can have whatever you want, but you must speak it. God has given us the divine authority and access to say words, and they come to pass. Many believers today do not know their rights in God, and that is quite sad. But this is a reminder that you have the power to declare, speak everything you want into your life, and it will come to pass. My dear brothers and sisters, if you look around your life and things are not going the way they should, this is a sign that you need to start speaking God's blessings upon your life. You should already know that God's blessings are like water, and we are the land. Without receiving water every day, the land will become dry and the plants will wither. To constantly flourish in different areas of our lives, we need water, which is God's blessing. One way we can ensure that we enjoy constant and overflowing blessings is by constantly speaking God's blessings upon our lives. While most Christians believe that living a life where all their needs are met and the blessings of God are abundant is a fairy tale, this is not true. Do not let the opinions of the world deceive you because as God's children, we can have it all. We can have good health, finances to meet all of our needs, a sound mind, a happy family, and all you can ever want. All you have to do is speak it and believe it. This can also be confirmed in Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. Just confess it and believe it. If you need healing, confess your healing and believe it. Do you want God to bless you with your heart desires? Confess it and believe it. Confess, speak the blessings you want to see in your life and believe in it. Then God will do his part. Most people ask, aside from speaking and believing the words, what else do I need to do to turn the words into reality? Brethren, one of the ways you can speak words and turn them into a reality is by aligning your words with God's truth. If you have noticed that you have spoken the words and believed in them, but nothing is happening, it could be a sign to check if it aligns with God's truth. If it aligns with God's word, then you need to keep believing that it will come to pass. You must always bear in mind that anything that is deeply rooted in God's word will definitely come to pass, no matter how long it takes. This is God's promise to us, his children. Again, do not joke with the power of words. Words are very powerful, and as God's child, you should use this to your greatest advantage. The book of John, chapter 11, verses 43 and 44, after Jesus had said this, he shouted as loudly as he could, Lazarus, come out! The dead man came out. Strips of cloth were wound around his feet and hands, and his face was wrapped with a handkerchief. Jesus told them, Free Lazarus, and let him go. Here, we see how Jesus raised Lazarus from death through the power of words. Another example of Jesus proving that words are powerful is in the book of Mark, chapter 4, verse 39, which says, He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. 
If we go through the Bible, we will find a dozen instances where the power of words was used to change a reality. Brethren, it doesn't matter where you are in your walk with God. You have the power to speak words over upon your life, and they will manifest in all areas of your life. Many people believe that praying for blessings in one area of their lives means that blessings cannot be sufficient in other areas too. Though this is not true, if you want specific blessings in different areas of your life, you must call out each area or those specific areas and speak blessings upon them. For example, if you want God's blessings in your financial wheel of life or academic wheel of life, instead of speaking blessings over your life in general, you could be more specific and mention the area of life you want the blessings to manifest. The same applies to your relationship, academics, marriage, career, health, and other areas of your life. Beloved, we have already established that our tongues are powerful weapons, and we can transform our lives by speaking blessings and other powerful words. If you truly want to enjoy all-round blessings and live a life where all your needs are met, then you need to adopt the lifestyle of constantly speaking blessings over your life. I want you to pray this prayer with me so you can receive all its blessings. Stay with us until the end to allow your hearts to receive the full blessings of this blessed prayer from Jesus. I encourage you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. To our wondrous, sovereign, living, loving God, let us pray. Dearest Heavenly Father, King of the universe, Lord of lords, grant me wisdom and understanding as I navigate through life. Help me to grow in both knowledge and character, developing virtues that reflect your love and grace. Bless me with the strength to overcome challenges with courage and determination, and the humility to learn valuable lessons from every experience. Guide me to make decisions that honor you and enrich my journey, fostering a life of purpose, integrity, and faithfulness. Lord God, I pray for good health and well-being. Bless my body, mind, and spirit with your healing touch. Strengthen me, making me resilient to life's challenges. Guide me toward habits and choices that promote physical, mental, and spiritual health. Help me to embrace a lifestyle that nurtures my well-being and honors you. Fill me with your peace and vitality so I may live each day with energy and gratitude, reflecting your love in all that I do. Gracious Father, bless my family with unity, love, and understanding. Help us support and cherish one another deeply, valuing each member's unique gifts and strengths. Strengthen our bonds, filling our home with peace and joy. Guide us in our interactions, fostering patience, empathy, and kindness. May we navigate challenges together with grace and resilience, always relying on your wisdom and love. Let our family be a reflection of your divine care and compassion, growing closer to you and each other every day. Lord, bless my work and career. Grant me success and fulfillment in my professional life, guiding my efforts so I may work diligently and ethically. Help me to stay focused and dedicated, always striving for excellence. May my work bring glory to your name and be a blessing to others. Inspire me to use my skills and talents to make a positive impact, fostering an environment of integrity and respect. Let my career be evidence to your guidance and grace. Father, I come before you with gratitude for all your blessings. I ask for your divine provision over my finances. Please meet all my needs and grant me the wisdom to manage my resources responsibly. Open doors of opportunity for prosperity 
and guide me to use my financial blessings to serve and uplift others. Strengthen my faith in your provision and help me to be a good steward of the blessings you've bestowed upon me. Lord, draw me ever closer to you. Fill my heart with a deeper understanding of your word and strengthen my faith each day. Guide my spiritual journey, leading me toward greater wisdom and insight. Help me to grow in my relationship with you, seeking your presence in every aspect of my life. Grant me the patience and perseverance to remain steadfast in my faith, and let your love be the foundation upon which I build my life. O Heavenly Father, bless me with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Calm my mind and ease my anxieties, filling me with your tranquility. Help me to find rest and renewal in your presence, allowing your soothing spirit to wash over me. Guide me to trust in your divine plan, releasing my worries into your capable hands. May your peace sustain me through every trial and challenge, and let your presence be a constant source of comfort and strength. Loving God, bless my friendships and relationships within my community. Help me to be a true and faithful friend, fostering strong, supportive connections. Guide me in showing love, kindness, and compassion to those around me, reflecting your love in my interactions. Grant me the wisdom to listen, the patience to understand, and the grace to forgive. May my actions and words uplift and encourage others, building a community rooted in your love and grace. Lord, bless my body with strength and vitality. Help me to make healthy choices and take care of the body you have given me. Grant me the discipline to maintain a balanced lifestyle, nourishing my body with proper food and exercise. Protect me from illness and injury, and guide me in maintaining my physical well-being. Fill me with energy and resilience, allowing me to serve you with a healthy and strong body. May I honor you in all aspects of my physical health. Bless my emotional health, Lord. Grant me peace, joy, and resilience to face life's challenges with grace. Help me to navigate my feelings with wisdom and understanding, finding comfort and strength in you during difficult times. Fill my heart with your serenity and guide me to cultivate a positive and balanced outlook. Teach me to rely on your presence for emotional stability and support, so that I may reflect your love and peace in all circumstances. Sovereign Lord, bless my mind and my ability to learn. Please help me to seek knowledge and wisdom in all that I do. Guide my thoughts and enable me to grow intellectually, making decisions that reflect your will. Sharpen my focus and clarity of mind, allowing me to absorb and understand new information effectively. Inspire me to use my learning for good, applying it to serve others and honor you. May my pursuit of knowledge be a journey of discovering your truth and wisdom. Lord, bless my interactions with others. Help me to build strong, healthy relationships founded on love, respect, and understanding. Guide my words and actions so that I may be a beacon of kindness and empathy. Grant me the wisdom to be a good friend, a supportive family member, and an engaged participant in my community. May my presence bring comfort, encouragement, and joy to those around me. Heavenly Father, bless my spiritual journey. Draw me closer to you and illuminate my path with your divine light. Strengthen my faith and deepen my understanding of your word. Guide me in living according to your will, that I may reflect your love and grace in all I do. Fill my heart with your presence and surround me with your peace so that I may walk confidently in your ways. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for all eternity. 
Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering my prayer. In the mighty, precious, and powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Type the words, Praise Jesus, in the comments if you feel this prayer has blessed you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I proclaim all these prayer blessings cover you. I urge you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. Share with us your testimonial when God works in your life in the comments so others will be inspired by the Lord's work. You can help us reach even more people and help spread the gospel by sharing this video with a family member or friend. And remember to subscribe and like our videos to reach others. Our channel, Power Prayers for Jesus, will keep you uplifted and help your relationship with the Lord. Leave any prayer requests below so our Holy Family can pray for you. Additionally, others on this platform and globally seeing this can pray for you. All glory belongs to God alone. May the amazing grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ dwell within each of you.